everybody, welcome back to Dash Yoga. My name is Ashley, and we're going to be doing a meditate and restore class today. So we're going to start with a guided meditation, and then moving into a couple restorative poses. Practice is going to be around 30 minutes. So for restorative, just a gentle reminder, grab all of the little goodies and props that you have. So right now I have a few different size bolsters. If you don't have bolsters, remember you can use um, pillows from your bed, couch cushions, even the pillowcase, you could shove a few blankets or towels in there to kind of give it a nice hearty feel. I have a blanket. I recommend one or two blankets. If you get cold easily, you can place one over top of you at any time. And then I also have a little eye pillow just to block the light out because we're practicing during the day. If you don't have an eye pillow, a pair of socks or a face cloth works really well just placing over your eyes to give you sort of that blackout effect so it can be nice and cozy for you. So we're gonna start in meditation. If you wanna sit on something you can, full or half lotus, letting your hands rest on your thighs, palms facing up or down. Just sitting nice and tall, relaxing through, through your shoulders, allowing your belly to be soft, unclenching your jaw, and tuning your energy, awareness, and your attention inwards. Just feeling the breath moving through you, in and out. Allowing any tension, stress, just to melt away from your physical body as you begin to journey further into the depths of your heart and your soul. As you journey in, reflecting back on the week, the day that you've had, honoring and acknowledging all of those bits, but knowing that it's okay to sort of press this pause button on them and think about taking this time on your mats. This is an opportunity for you to be soft, to be quiet, to be still, and to focus on that healing of your body. I want you to take a few moments and just scan through, starting with everything that's maybe going on in the mind, trickling and following that energy eventually down to your toes. As you do a full body scan, you're looking with love. There's no judgment or expectations that you're placing on your body. But what there is, is there's this awareness that if there's anything that you find or any areas that need more attention, compassion and grace, there's this opportunity to breathe into them more and more. as you become more and more still and more aware of what's going on on the inside, you'll feel that ease just kind of wash over your actual physical body. with us 
as we eventually transition into our restorative postures. Allowing the postures to hold us as the body sinks and softens deeper, deeper, going inwards even more. To notice what you feel and find as you take this time to move in. Holding space for anything that you might be working with or working through. Holding space for your heart and the tenderness that lives there. that area and just starting to breathe into your hands but also feeling the heat the energy the fire from within And then using your hands, you just sort of trace the outline of your body as if you're giving your aura a quick little scan and then placing the hands over the eyes. Take a few breaths into the darkness, to the east. And then removing the hands, gazes to the ground and eyes are going to come open to the little bit of light. We're going to move into our first pose and it's going to be a supportive forward fold, okay? Now for this, your legs are going to be up to you. You could do a comfortable seated. The only thing I would recommend if you're going to do seated is take your less dominant leg forward. So if you were sitting with your right leg forward, you'll switch to the left. You could also do this in a butterfly position. We're taking the legs out to a little bit more of a straddle shape, okay? Or something in between. This is gonna be whatever feels good for you. And then you're gonna create, I kinda like to think almost a little bit of a ramp or such for your upper body to fold onto. So I'm gonna bring a couple bolsters out here. Again, you can work with pillows, blocks. I don't have my blocks right now, but you could have the blocks there as well. And then I'm gonna bring the bolster this way. 
going to take my legs into a little bit of a wider straddle and bring them in a little bit. And then I'm going to fold forwards, letting my upper body start to melt down. My hands could rest. Again, if I have some pillows here, I could let my forehead come down or I might turn my gaze in one direction. You can play around with your blanket underneath your seat, over you, or again, using your blanket as just a little extra layer to fold onto. For my eye pillow, I'm just gonna kind of have it near my face so I can breathe in just that really sweet little bit of lavender. Or even just pressing the forehead, the third eye into it as well. So doing your best here to just ask yourself, are you comfortable? Are you able to hold? Can you give your body permission to melt into this sweet space? We want to invite in quiet in the mind, warm and cozy through usage of props, and closing the eyes so we can move into a little bit of darkness. With every exhale, feel yourself descend and melt onto your props more and more.
and let your strength come up nice and slow. Just maybe taking a moment or so to let the eyes come open to any light that's around you. Moving the props just off to the side. And it might feel good to windshield wiper the legs back and forth, give them a little shake. And then next, we're going to lay on our backs and we're going to move into one called um, Mountain Brook. And that we're going to have something under the head, the low back, and the legs are going to be elevated. So for this one, I'm going to use kind of this rounder pillow for under my head. But I want to show you just really quickly in case you haven't done this before, how to make a neck roll. So if you have a blanket at home, something that's a little bit more firm, um, not something super fluffy, you can just start to roll your blanket in. Usually something like this thickness is what feels good for me. You could roll it more, you could roll it less, and that will just go at the back of your mat, underneath your head and neck for that support. So again, I'm gonna put that there, and I'll place my eye pillow beside as well. Now, Something underneath the low back, you could use a towel or a blanket folded. I would just probably do something maybe that width or even a little bit more. Now, if you didn't have an extra blanket close by, again, you can omit this, no problem. And that's gonna go underneath your sacrum, under the little dip in the low back. And then next, we're gonna have the legs elevated. So. Depending what that looks like, you could put a few bolsters together to create that little ramp for your legs to waterfall over top of. So kind of something like this. Again, you could do that with pillows as well or folded blankets. Um, if you had a couple blocks, you could place something over top of that as well to give it the same effect. So I will probably have to bring this in. Play around until you find that sweet spot that works for you. And if you do have an extra blanket, place that over top of you. So I wanna kinda of take this underneath the back of my knees. As you can see, my legs are really dangling and hanging down. I'm going to scooch the blanket under my low back. I'll then bring in my neck support, really nice. Grab the eye pillow or something to cover the eyes. And then your arms now can rest alongside you or even on your hip bones or belly and heart and just check in make sure you're comfortable I feel really really great in this the only thing I would add is if your hands or your arms are on like a really cool floor just maybe placing a blanket or a sweater or something underneath them so you can stay nice and warm and cozy it's another aspect of restorative staying in that warmth a few moments to really settle in here kind of recognize how each prop feels supporting your neck your low back your legs just letting yourself sort of ground and move towards the earth feel the support of this posture and of your props just allowing your body the space and time to rest replenish and be You might notice it's a little easier to disconnect or detach from the thoughts, the excess. The more and more you come to these slow and soft and healing practices, it almost becomes like a little second nature for you to drop into the essence of where you are here and now.
starting to come back, beginning to wiggle the fingers and toes, reawakening from this beautiful stillness. A little full body stretch. And if you have something covering your eyes, move that off to the side, but keep your eyes closed. And you're gonna roll to the side of your choice, just kind of on top of your props. Curl everything in. And then with your eyes closed, see if you can just come up to a quick seated position. So resting the hands at heart center. Honoring the stillness and the ease that you brought into your practice today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.